Imagine waking up to a world where the sun gives no warmth, where glaciers tower higher than skyscrapers, and every day is a fight to avoid freezing to death. Yet somehow, your ancestors survived it. But here's the part no one tells you. Humans weren't supposed to survive the Ice Age. We were fragile compared to the monsters that roamed the frozen Earth. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed cats, giant bears. So how did a small, shivering species not only endure, but rise to dominate the planet? In this video, you're going to discover the real strategies our ancestors used. Real science, real archaeology, and unbelievable survival tactics that sound almost impossible today. And the twist ending? Humans didn't survive the Ice Age by being the strongest, but by doing something far more unexpected. Picture this, 20,000 years ago, the world looked like an alien planet. A mile of ice covered North America, Europe, and Asia. Winds cut through the air like knives. Temperatures dropped low enough to snap bone. Animals migrated in massive thundering herds, and humans, tiny groups of them, moved like ghosts across the snow. If you stepped outside your shelter for too long, you didn't just risk frostbite, you risked your life. But humans had one thing that no other Ice Age creature possessed. Not claws, not thick fur, not brute strength. They had brains that refused to quit. Fire wasn't new. Humans had used it for hundreds of thousands of years. But in the Ice Age, fire became something else entirely. A weapon, a tool, a shield, and a lifeline. Our ancestors learned to control fire with precision. They built long-lasting hearth systems in caves. They used fire to shape tools, harden wood, and scare off predators. Some tribes even used fire to trap animals by controlling the landscape. And at night, fire wasn't just warmth. It was the center of storytelling, planning, and passing on knowledge. It was the original human technology. Now imagine you're standing in minus 40 degrees Celsius wind. Your modern jacket wouldn't stand a chance. But Ice Age humans became expert tailors. Archaeologists have discovered needles with eyes dating back more than 30,000 years. This means humans weren't just wrapping themselves in hides. They were designing clothing. Layered fur outfits, fur-lined boots, parkas, mittens, hooded coats. Clothing became technology, and it gave humans an edge no animal could compete with. The ability to leave the warmth of the shelter and hunt without freezing. Forget caves. Humans built homes stronger and warmer than you'd ever imagine. One of the most fascinating discoveries comes from Ukraine and Russia. Mammoth bone houses. Entire huts made from the skulls, ribs, and tusks of woolly mammoths, covered with hides and packed with snow for insulation. These structures were warm, windproof, and strong enough to withstand blizzards. Others built semi-underground shelters, or used caves deep enough to trap heat. Some shelters even had multiple rooms, storage pits, and communal fireplaces. Your ancestors weren't primitive wanderers. They were engineers. Imagine an animal that weighs as much as 10 cars, covered in shaggy fur, towering over men. That was the woolly mammoth and hunting it was the Ice Age version of hitting the jackpot. A single mammoth could feed a tribe for months. Its bones turned into tools. Its hide turned into clothing. Its fat became fuel that burned hotter than wood. Humans also hunted bison, reindeer, horses, and eventually learned to fish rivers and coastlines. But the truth is, hunting these animals wasn't the hard part. The hard part was staying alive long enough to find the next one. And that leads us to something surprising. At some point in the Ice Age, wolves started hanging around human camps. Humans gave them scraps, 
Wolves warned them of predators. Eventually, wolves became dogs. This partnership changed everything. Dogs could track prey, guard camps during the night, warm humans while sleeping, detect dangers humans couldn't see. Dogs weren't pets. They were survival tools. They were allies. They may have been the reason certain human groups survived while others vanished. Survival wasn't just about tools. Nature shaped us too. Over thousands of years, humans developed stronger fat storage, shorter limbs in some regions to conserve heat, better metabolic heat production, gene adaptations from Neanderthals that improved cold tolerance. Your ancestors' biology literally changed to handle the Ice Age. But even with adaptation, survival wasn't guaranteed. Because the Ice Age wasn't just cold, it was unpredictable. And then came the biggest challenge of all. Despite all their inventions, humans faced something they could not control. The climate kept changing. Glaciers expanded. Sea levels dropped. Animal migrations shifted. Shelters collapsed under snow. Food sources vanished. New predators moved in. Some human groups disappeared completely. Others were forced to migrate thousands of miles. The Ice Age wasn't a single event. It was a relentless test, stretching across generations. So how did humans push through? What did they do when everything around them changed? This is where the most important survival skill appears. When food moved, humans moved with it. When the ice advanced, humans retreated to warmer regions, called refugia. Refugia were like safe zones Southern Europe, Central Asia, Southeast Asia, parts of Africa, coasts and riverbanks. Humans became expert long-distance travelers, crossing continents on foot. This mobility allowed them to escape starvation and follow animal herds. This ability to adapt, to move, think, invent, became humanity's greatest weapon. The Ice Age forced humans into tight-knit groups. They shared food, tools, and shelter, stories, knowledge of the land. Cooperation became the difference between life and death. If one hunter failed, another stepped in. If a shelter collapsed, the entire group rebuilt it. If a child fell ill, the tribe protected them. Humans didn't survive the Ice Age alone. They survived it together. This is the part most people don't expect. Art helped humans survive. Cave paintings weren't just decoration. They were maps, lessons, symbols of group identity, memories of successful hunts, stories that taught children where to find food and what to avoid. Venus figurines? Possibly fertility symbols used to strengthen social bonds. Music. Bone flutes created rhythms during rituals that unified tribes. Culture wasn't entertainment. It was a survival strategy. So here is the twist I promised. Humans didn't survive the Ice Age because they were the strongest. They survived because they were the most adaptable. While other species relied on instinct, humans relied on imagination. When the world froze over, we invented new tools. When food ran out, we moved. When predators threatened us, we formed alliances with each other and with animals. When storms destroyed shelters, we built stronger ones. When cold nearly killed us, we created clothing that turned our fragile bodies into walking furnaces. And when the Ice Age began to melt, humans didn't just survive. They stepped into a new world and eventually shaped the entire planet. This was the moment humans became the dominant species on Earth. So, how did humans survive the Ice Age? By mastering fire, crafting clothing, building shelters, hunting megafauna, partnering with wolves, migrating across continents, sharing knowledge, strengthening social ties, adapting biologically, inventing tools, using culture as a survival guide, and most importantly, by refusing to give up no matter how harsh the world became. Every breath you take today, every city, every invention, every moment of modern life, exists because your ancestors looked the Ice Age in the face and said, not today. If you learned something new today, drop a like and subscribe. We've got even more mind-blowing discoveries coming up next.